Greetings, fellow Gorehounds, and welcome back to a Blood Splattered Vlog. I'm the Horror Guru. And I'm Count Jackula. And today we are going to talk about a movie called The Whole Truth. And Nothing But the Truth. Which is a Thai horror film. It's not called Nothing But the Truth, but, <laughs> but which is a Thai horror film that is currently available on Netflix. Um, and is a ghost story. Yeah. You this know. one was recommended to us by, I believe, Jay Tilton, who Fuck comes yeah. to the screen to the streams. Fuck and yeah. He was like, hey, I think you might enjoy this movie. And he was right. Oh, yeah. It, it is a phenomenal film. Yeah. You know, it is a film with a lot of twists and turns. It's a film with uh, uh, some creepy ass fucking imagery. Yeah. Especially surrounding the ghost part of the ghost story. Woo. Um, yeah. As well as it continues our uh, a theme from a couple of vlogs ago of uh, dysfunctional families that people need to get the fuck away from. Yeah, <laughs> well, I mean, like the thing is, is this week it's like what were the other ones we did this week? Uh, Silent Night, yeah, was also about that, yeah. and Honeydew, which could be very strongly argued. They're still trying fits. to make a family in that yeah, one. Yeah, they're trying to make a family in that <laughs> one. And you should definitely get away from it. You know, well, I guess what I'm saying is that th this month we've just been watching family pictures. Oh yeah, family pictures. Pictures for the family. <laughs> Sit down with mom, dad, and the kids so that little Toby and yep. little, little Susie can fucking come on round and see the blood. <laughs> this is a great Asian uh, ghost story. Um, uh, w unlike a lot of like J-horror things, like there's actually like a method to the ghost madness in this that we'll talk about when we get to the spoiler section. Yeah. Um, but it, it's, oh man, it's just as creepy. You yeah. know, <laughs> it's just as creepy as J-horror kind of stuff. Yeah, like, because go ghosts, and, ghosts in Asia are not just like, Hello, I am see-through! No. No. No, it's always like, Hello, um, I've, 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 I've got my head in my hand, and I'm still bleeding from my rectum. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And I, and I... Allow me to crawl know. on the floor in a weird contorted way that's going to be the stuff of your nightmares for weeks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, uh, I also really like the way this movie is filmed. It's filmed in a very melodramatic way that kind of reminds me of like Malignant, where it's kind of over yeah. the top. But it's over the the filming is over the top, but the acting is very down to earth. So it's a weird, interesting combination because the actors aren't acting like they're in a melodrama. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but everything is kind of staged as it yeah. is. Yeah, everything's filmed you know? like it is, which gives the film its a weird feeling that I really yeah, like. Yeah, because it's kind of like it's like watching a uh, uh, a, uh, a, 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 a like a Korean soap opera, but done at like cinematic levels. Yeah, it's like a Korean soap opera with J horror acting. Yeah, <laughs> you know that's what it kind of feels yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 really good. Yeah, you know, it is really fucking good. And there are some twists that happen later on in this movie that I did not see coming. There are some that I did. Oh yeah, you know, there's some that I figured out as the movie went on, but like the last twist, for example, which we'll talk about when we get to the spoiler section, I did not see that one coming, and I should have. Yeah, <laughs> you know. They gave me all these 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 pieces and I put it together slightly wrong. You know? Yeah, yeah. It's just like so the, the the easiest thing to not spoil is that it, it is a ghost story. It is a ghost story, yeah. You know, there's a, there's ghosts. Um it has this really cool central conceit, um, because the movie's all about truth. It's all about uh the secrets that people keep, in particular the secrets that people keep people keep within families. Yeah. Um and, and the damage that those secrets cause by being kept secret yeah so there's this weird there's this cool little visual metaphor of you have this hole now when you peep through the hole you will see the ghost and these things on the other side that will reveal a truth but you won't realize it's revealing a truth until yeah like, yeah until you realize oh wait you, you have to put yeah. together like what's going on so it is a hole a truth hole a truth hole yeah it is the whole truth <laughs> it's a, it's a nice yeah. little pun there they got going on. Yeah. <laughs> it is both a whole and is also the whole truth. You know? Yep. <laughs> I thought that was very It's a, the entire movie's built around a glorious pun and I love that. Oh yeah. I fucking love that. <laughs> um uh but but of course like like uh uh family family secrets means there's a lot of, you know, metaphorical skeletons in closets. Um Yeah. Uh you don't know who to trust in this movie. Uh, no, no. the the movie The movie basically starts out: um, mom and her kids. Yeah. 
they mom gets into a car accident in the yep. middle of the fucking night, and these this guy who shows up claiming to be their grandfather, who they've never seen before, never met, never met their grandfather. You know, it's like your mom's been in an accident. You need to come with me. We're your legal guardians until she can, you know, function again. Yeah, and through the course of the movie, for, of the next like rest of the first act you you slowly start to realize that they are their grandparents yeah you have that but, question like like whether or not they are but it becomes clear they are but then the next question becomes and this is the one that runs throughout most of the movie why did the mom never tell us about them yeah and yeah and why are they acting so weird? because it's not just the grandpa there's also the grandma who has dementia yeah. um which i gotta say like like I've seen you talk about your grandma and like like yeah. what she's got going on there, mm -hmm. and it sounded like they kind of nailed oh, it. Oh no, they 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 <laughs> did. It's 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 there'll be like three or four minutes of like just complete lucidity, yeah, and then she's talking about yeah like a dog she owned when she was like eight years old, absolutely, you know? and you're just like, but but she didn't tell you, yeah that that's what she's talking about now. So you're just sort of like, so that one time when your father like, you know, spilled all the water on the floor and then had to eat a wet dog food out of the bowl and you're like, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute, what? <laughs> what? And What's then you, going on? And then you start realizing, oh, she was talking about my dad, but then it turned into a story about her old dog. Oh, okay. Or when it. she like looks at like one of the granddaughters and like mistakes it for her daughter. You know, yes. like, you know. Like you're obviously Mia. It's like no, no, no. no I'm, I'm Mia's daughter. I'm Pim. I'm Pim. Pim. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know what this movie's obsession was with everyone having P names. There's Pim. There's there's Putt, and then there's Pinya later on. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They all have. They all have. Well, I, I, I think it was to keep you off balance because you could never entirely tell. Yeah. Which character? the demented grandmother was referring to. Oh yeah, yeah. As it's going on. That makes sense, yeah. You know, because like, wait, did she mean Pia or Pina? Or did she mean Pim or did, yeah. like, who is she talking about? You know, um, so, it, it becomes clear by the end. But there's a lot of great tension in this movie because they've never met their grandparents before and now they're forced to live with their grandparents. But on top of that, grandma has dementia and grandpa's basically told the kids to, you know, you know, like, like, you're gonna have to cater to grandma's dementia and like like work around it. It's gonna be weird, but you're just gonna have to deal. Yeah. Which means that like on top of them being in an unfamiliar environment with people they don't really know, uh, they now have to like appease grandma whenever she has a stupid idea in her head that might be something they don't want to do. Like for example, drink the milk that that yeah that she keeps putting out specifically for uh um the boy because the boy has a messed up leg and she's got it in her head that if you drink the milk it'll help your bones grow back a bit better mm -hmm. but i got the impression that he wasn't injured that he was actually crippled like he actually had yeah like yeah a, that, that there was actually like that brace was actually essentially permanent yeah yeah that like there was actually like his leg had just like I, yeah i got the idea yeah, that he was born with a with a messed up leg and the braces yeah and him. that's and that's supported by something that's discovered later in the movie which we'll talk about because this is this is 100 percent a movie that has big time spoilers oh yeah <laughs> you know um uh, but like, like she has it in her head, which also, you know, speaks to her dementia. It's just like drink, drink the milk. It'll help your bone grow back, whatever. But the bones aren't gonna grow back. It's, it's, it's yeah, yeah, my leg. yeah. That's you know, whatever this is my is, leg. Whatever is happening, that's just the way it is. The movie also does a really great job of making you care about the the the, the little family unit they have at the very beginning. So when she gets in the car accident, yeah, you know, like you really feel that, <laughs> you know. Yes, absolutely. Um, uh, yeah, and the running theme of the of the movie is that no one's working with all the information. Yeah, yeah, no one knows one hundred percent everything, and everyone's got like little secrets, except for I think Pim. Pim doesn't really have any secrets, but even the brother Pitt or uh, Putt has his own secrets because like he's being blackmailed by someone at school, and you're not quite sure what he's being blackmailed over. You just know that it's something that was caught on camera. Yeah, you yeah. Know? Um, it isn't until later on, which we'll talk about when we get to the spoilers, what he's being blackmailed over. But yeah. Yeah, Pim doesn't have any secrets. She has like, well, she has secrets, but they are things that she's being blackmailed over. True, yeah. But they aren't like actually, like she actually didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, yeah. I also want to say that everyone in this movie gives like phenomenal performances. Yeah. Um, this actually goes to something that um, I watched the movie uh, subtitled. Yeah, I watched it. Um, I watched it subtitled because Jack and his wife watched it 
dubbed and they're both like watch it subtitled yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. and i was just like all right i'm taking your guys's word on it and like i watched the subtitled version and i was really struck by just how commanding everyone's performance was in particular the grandparents are just yeah like you yeah. can tell that these are old grizzled actors who have like a lot of experience because every time the grandpa did anything i was just like wow it's it's like brian cranston i can't stop looking at you you're yeah. so fucking you know you're so fucking captivating yeah, yeah. the and the and 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 the american and the english dub actually does detract from it. no i i, I believe it because i i can't imagine <clears throat> I can't imagine some of these performances with a dubbed over voice. You yeah. Know, because they're so good, you know? Yep. Um, the, the other thing is that apparently like the voices sound like really super white and this movie has, is so Thai. Or the, the dub. The dub like yeah. sounds super white. And this movie is so Thai that it, it feels, it feels off. It feels yeah, off. Yeah. Yeah. It's like if you, if you, it, yeah, it's like if you watched a movie it, that was set in Britain, but everyone had a New England accent. Yeah. And you're like, like an accent. This sounds weird, weird. You know? Yeah. This sounds super weird. Like something's off here. Yeah, or if you like, <coughs> or if we were like somewhere in, uh, somewhere in Europe, and even if it was like an English language film, for some reason they weren't doing the European accent. Yeah, that, that American movies do. Yep, you'd be yep. like, wait a minute, something's that why? something's wrong something's here. Wrong. Something's off. <coughs> anyway. I'm starting to lose my voice, so I'm going to move us over to the spoilers real quick. But, Got um, it. Got but it. Uh, basically, um, the movie's currently available on Netflix. Uh, I don't know if it's available on a different platform in other regions, but here in North America, it is on Netflix. So if you want to watch it, go subscribe to Netflix and watch it there. I highly recommend you do because this movie is phenomenal. It is a great Asian horror film, and you're not going to be disappointed. This is a uh, thing I'm going to insert into earlier in the vlog, right, but um, yeah. there is a dead cat in this movie, and I don't mean just a screen for your uh, shotgun microphone. I mean there's an actual. Yeah, yeah, you actually see the body of a dead cat. It is not a, a, it's not a real dead cat. It's a fake dead cat, but you get what I mean. You get what I mean. There's a dead cat in this movie, so just be warned about that. Um, and uh, with that said, let's move on to the spoilers. Yeah. Man, pick your choice as to which one to do oh, first. Oh, jeez! Holy <clears throat> shit! This 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 story gets really twisty and turny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it super fucking does. So, like, basically, what ends up happening over the course of this movie is that you find out that obviously there's a ghost. So someone died in their house, but at first they think it's the house next door. Yeah. Because they keep looking through the hole, and the hole goes into the house next door. But it's always like a different time of day when they look. Yeah, through, yeah, like, yeah. But it's always night time. Yeah. And, and they're like, everything's weird. Like it's like, hey, it's during the day. Uh, we're, it's night right now, and we look through the hole. It's day on the other side. What's going on here? Like, there's a lot of that. Um, but they eventually figured out that that, that they, uh, it's more of a mirror. They're like looking at yeah. a mirror of the room, but it's like a different time period they're looking at. They're like looking at the past, like when the, when the little girl who died, died. And so the mystery becomes trying to figure out how did this girl die? Why did she die? And why is she still haunting us? Yeah, and who is she? Who is she too? And they basically discover over the course of the film that they had a sister. An yep. older sister, mm -hmm. um, an older sister with, I think, Down syndrome, was it? Uh, or was it just a? I don't know if she defect? had Down syndrome. She has I like think a, she just had as a birth defect. Yeah, she had yeah. a weird like growth on her face, and I wasn't sure if it was supposed to be. Yeah, because like, she didn't come off as particularly that's like, true. cognitively adult. She just so came, much as sounded weird because she has yeah. this fucking growth on her face. But they had they had a um a sister that had a birth defect, and it was their older sister. And this was like back when their when uh, Pim was just a baby. Just a yeah. baby, and yeah. and the brother had was was he was like in the womb in the, the womb. time, yeah. yeah. And at first, they 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 kind of figure out that like okay, so their dad, who they've never actually met, who's been dead for a long time, their dad got drunk, passed out, and this led to the sister getting stuck in the closet and dying. Yeah. But they don't know exactly, does she die because she was in there for so long? They also don't know, like, what the fuck is the story behind the dad and all that stuff. Yeah, because, like, they're, they're, already, they, they're already, like, yeah. kind of questioning what's going on because a lot of really reasonable questions come up, which yeah. is, like, wait, how long could he have been passed out? Yeah, exactly. What in the closet? Like, if she died in the closet, then something has to have 
killed her. Yeah, yeah. Because she didn't starve to death because it was only a couple of hours. Yeah, yeah. If she was just stuck in the closet for a night, like, she would have survived. Yeah, yeah, easily. You know, know, she would have survived that. So what the fuck is going on? There's more to this story. So as the movie goes on, they kind of figure out that, um, uh, grandma and grandpa and mom showed up right when, uh, uh, showed up that night, found her dead in the closet, and then supposedly the dad killed himself. And that's where the hole in the wall comes yeah, from. Yeah. Bullet through the through the ma- through the mouth and into the into the wall. And that's where the hole comes from. Yeah. And uh grandpa basically through his connections, because he's a former he's cop, a cop. Yeah. Uh covered up uh, uh uh everything that happened in that house and kept it all a secret. And mom at some point escaped the family and decided to keep all this from their kids. But you're like, you're okay, now why? Yeah. Yeah. Like if Dad killed himself, why did she want out of that house? Yeah, and it, well, even if she got out of the house, why would she want to not talk? To okay, her yeah. parents ever. Yeah, yeah. Why would she not want to talk to your parents? So you kind of you kind of assume for a huge chunk of this movie that that Grandpa killed Dad. Yeah, you know. Yeah. And this is big, further reinforced because there's a whole subplot where Grandpa tracks down uh, the guy that he thinks uh, hit and ran. Uh, the mom when she got yeah, in the, the beginning accident. of the movie yeah um, it turns out that he didn't actually do it it was actually like a different driver yeah yeah big uh, fire trucks fire trucks so um, yeah because like you know he's convinced that like this rich guy the rich guy did it but the rich guy's friend admitted uh, pled guilty yeah like he just flat out pled guilty and, he thinks, and then it turns out that's actually is what happened yeah yeah there's actual dash cam footage that is uncovered and they're like yeah. oh shit like he actually wasn't the driver yeah 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 and he wasn't and he, you know and he was probably yeah he was intoxicated but he wasn't like yeah you know he was less drunk than the other two but he doesn't find this out until after he's already tracked the guy down pulled him out of his car and lit him on fire yeah so the guy's dead he killed the guy you know, so we know dad is willing to go death wish for his family. Oh, like, yeah. Or grandpa is willing to go death wish for his family. So the idea that he also killed dad. Because, Not unreasonable Because at all. dad's negligence led to led to granddaughter dying. Makes sense. Makes sense. Um, turns out that's not, that's not the whole story. But before we get to that, I do want to point out that, like, what's really cool about the grandpa storyline is that him killing that wrong guy. Um, is it kind of speaks to the theme of this movie of people operating without the whole truth. Yeah. Like he didn't have the whole truth, which which he acts without having the whole truth. And because he acted without having the whole truth, an innocent guy is dead. Yeah. An asshole. Yeah. But still innocent. Yeah, but still innocent. You know. You know. You know, and uh, that kind of speaks to the theme because there's a lot of stuff that happens throughout this movie through the, throughout the characters where they make dumb decisions or they they make a decision that that is harmful because they don't have the whole picture. Yeah, yeah, they're only working with part of it, yeah. and it's a critical part that they're missing. Absolutely, this also speaks to like the subplot of the little brother uh, being uh, blackmailed by a kid at school who basically just wants to fucking rape his sister, and he's yeah. basically like blackmailing in, him into letting him do it. Like it's really yeah. fucking messed up. Yeah. Um, but he's blackmailing him, and the sister is trying to help him throughout the entire movie get rid of this guy, but she doesn't understand why he, he keeps doing it um, until she finds out that the blackmail that the guy's doing when she gets the whole picture um, is that. <clears throat> Uh, it is a video of her taking a shower that he was going to leak around the school. Um, right. And so now, now she has invested interest in like, like, oh, wait, we can't stop him because yeah. if we do, he's going to leak this or whatever. But once she has the whole information, once she has the whole truth, that not only is he doing that, but he en- she ends up finding his phone left at their house yeah. um, and, and, and discovering that... Uh, her friend from school is actually in on it with the dude. Yep. And that she's the one who actually took the video thing. And now that she's got the whole truth, she can take them down. Yeah. You know, and she actually does. She's able to actually take them down the proper way because she has all the pieces of the puzzle. A lot of the other characters in this movie operate without all the pieces of the puzzle and end up doing more damage than good. Yes. You know, grandpa ends up accidentally killing someone. Um, uh, 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 brother does not realize how sick he is and yeah. does not go to the hospital when he should. Now, to be fair, the family should be taking him to the hospital, but because they're all distracted with their own things, they're not. Um, and for other reasons. Yeah. Turns, Which, well, turns out there's a reason he's sick. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. 
They then discover throughout the movie that sister was killed by rat poison. Supposedly, while she was in the closet, she drank it thinking it was just, you know, like candy or something. Yeah. You know? But at this point, when you're watching the movie, you're starting to probably piece together that, wait, hold on. She was killed by rat poison. And for some reason, reason, grandma keeps forcing this milk down the little brother's throat. Yep. And little brother eventually ends up smashing the milk and the cat ends up ends up drinking the milk. Oh, all right. Now that I put that in yeah. the earlier part of the vlog. Yeah. So cat drinks the milk and cat dies. And that's when you start to realize, oh, shit. Grandma poisoned the little sister and is now poisoning the little brother. Yeah. Why the fuck is she doing that? And then eventually you find out through like the big villain reveal that uh, she was killing them because they were crippled. And, yep. And uh, her daughter deserves perfect children. Children. Like him. Yeah. You know, the yeah. perfect child. So she's just going to get kill all the defects. Yeah. Kill all the disabled kids. Kill all the ones with birth defects. Kill all of them, whatever, because they're yeah. not perfect. And she was so, doing this before she had dementia. So sweet old dementia grandma turns out to be the monster of the movie <laughs> in a weird way. Yeah. Um, so then the movie reveals that it drops that on you. And th at this point, the mom has woken up and she showed up at the house and she's taken her kids away and they've had this huge confrontation with the family. And so you're like, okay, okay. Now I know what's happened. Uh, uh, grandma poisoned, uh, the uh, daughter, uh, the granddaughter, granddaughter died. They let, she let the, uh, the dad take the rap for it because she didn't like the dad because the dad was a artist and that, yeah. that's a loser job. Um, so, uh, and grandpa killed, uh, uh, dad. That's you pretty much put together. That's what it is. But the movie then throws another twist at you. Another fucking twist. After the ghost basically convinces grandpa to kill grandma. It's really funny. Yeah. <laughs> movie throws another twist at you where it turns out actually, no, grandpa didn't kill the, the dad. And the reason why he needed the, his fellow cops to help cover up what happened that night is because mom killed the dad. That's the whole truth. That's the whole truth. Yeah. Grandma killed the granddaughter, which led to mom killing the dad, thinking the dad killed the granddaughter. Yep. That's the fucked up family. <laughs> yep. Oh, geez. Yeah. It's messed up. But it's great. The twi each twist hits you, and like some of it, you might figure out as you're going along. Because I figured out some of it as it was going on. Yeah. But yeah, that last that twist la with the mom. I, that one, I actually had a feeling was coming. I was like, I, I did not see it coming. I was like, I was, I was tricked. Yeah. The, the one, the one that um, that got you, that got me, what was apparently fact, Gomez apparently really Gomez. does not want us to finish this vlog. Yeah was the fact that the grandmother was killing the children on purpose. Yeah. That That's wasn't the just one dementia. I did. Yeah, it wasn't just her being just, just nuts. It's her yeah. being homicidal. That's very fair. You That's know, very fair. Like, I was like, oh, oh, oh. This movie has a really fucking touching ending, though, because it ends with uh, uh, Pim holding her little sister's hand, the ghost of her little yeah. sister's hand while laying in bed, while the little sister sings the song that she used to sing to her. Um, while she was uh, in in her cradle when they were really little. Yep. And it's a very touching fucking scene. But man, you gotta get a f get the fuck away from your family because your family's done. You and your little Dude, brother, you get the you fuck get out of the there. Fuck away, <laughs> you know, like this, this, this is bad. Mom's a murderer. Grandma's a murderer. Dad's a murderer. They're all fucking, fucking murderers. murderers. <laughs> Yeah, but the th but the, th the thing is, is yeah, the one that the the uh, the absolute the one that you're like, no way. Yeah. Like every other one, you're like, ooh, if I was pushed to that, if I was in that situation, could have made that mistake. Oh yeah, the you mom know? one, I could totally see making. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. The if, mom one, if I you definitely thought dad could... killed, daughter, yes, I could yes, totally see. I that. could totally see that. Um, but the grandma is the one where you're just like, what? She's the one that's pure evil. Yeah. All the other characters are moments of passion or 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 a misjudgment. A misjudgment out of a love of their family, but hers is literally hating her own grandchildren. Yep. Sure, she's doing it because she's trying to, you know, help her daughter, but 
even with that, it's still the most evil motivation. Yeah, you're still killing children. Even you Grandpa know? pulling that guy out of the car and lighting him on fire, he thought she, she that guy put her his daughter in a coma. Yeah. You know, he was wrong, and what he did was wrong, and he should be in jail for it. Yeah. But... Not the same type of evil motivation that the grandmother yeah. had. Yeah, yeah, we're just a pure murder. Pure fucking evil. Jesus Christ, I did not expect that. That was that was messed up. Yeah. That was messed up. But I highly recommend the movie. It's really good. It is It is a very good movie. Um, is there any you know, things that we haven't mentioned that you want to bring up yet? I can't think of any because, like, the, the movie's really, really, really good. And I feel like... If we talk about it longer, that's minutes that people aren't spending watching the movie. Yeah, yep. uh, it's it's really good. Recommend subtitles over dubs. I, Big I time. Mean, I I usually do, but definitely in this case. I mean, sometimes I've been able to get away with it. Like like I remember watching Elves dubbed, and I was fine with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but, but like th- this movie, I can definitely see why the subtitles might detract from it. Yeah, yeah. like th- this one. Yeah, because it's so uh, cozy. Yeah, and somewhat and and the performances are somewhat natural uh the the a dub just kind of puts like this kind of separation between you and what you're watching like I, i'm so shocked at the way this movie is put together because it shouldn't work but it does the yeah. fact that the film is filmed so melodramatically but the acting is so down to earth which you yeah. think would cause a dissonance but it doesn't it just works yeah 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 and this in this fucking yeah in this sequence it works because you're already a little unsettled mm-hmm. just by the situation. Yep. And so that just continues that discomfort. 100%. You know, it's it's really, really good. Really good movie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I, th- I think that's 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 all I can say. All right. In that case, where can they find you, Count Jacula? Oh, you can find me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash count underscore Jacula, where I stream twice a week on Thursdays, and Sundays at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and at other times during the week. If you want to know exactly when I am on, you can follow me on Twitter and you'll get the notification that Twitter is at Counting Jack, one word. And if you just want to see pictures of me shitting on the toilet, you can go to Instagram at Satanic Jackula. Now, that's not all that's there, <laughs> but, but be prepared. I might just decide to, like, drop a deuce and be like, Hey, you ever wonder why we call them thumbs? Yep, that that is Jack. That's Jack in a nutshell. Yeah. You know, so if you want to follow me there, that's Satanic Jaculate Instagram. And what about you? Y'all know me. I'm the Horror Guru. You can find me at the Horror Guru on Twitter, on Twitch, on Instagram, and Facebook. Just look up the Horror Guru or Blood Spotted Cinema, and I'll be there. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that notification bell so that you're notified of my videos immediately upon their upload. And if you'd like to help out either of us more directly, then be sure to check out our Patreon pages. And remember, if you decide to go the Patreon route, even a dollar a month can go a long way. And if you made it this far into the vlog, then I want you to comment below and be sure to comment below using the hashtag and nothing but the truth. (laughs) That's your hashtag. Work it into your comment however you please. And that way I know, that way Jack knows, that way the world knows that you watched this vlog all the way through. And uh, I just want to say that the ghost in this movie was a really fucking good artist. Yeah, but I also think that the ghost in this movie was low key Jun- Junji Ito. Well, yeah, because that, that that spiral that, that in the face spiral. picture it draws. Yeah, yeah, I was just like, that's just a Junji Ito drawing. Yeah, eh, interesting. Oh yeah, there are two ghosts in the movie, by the way. But yeah, they're about the same thing. So. But you, but you don't you don't realize it. Yeah, so. yeah, you don't realize that the one doing the pictures is the dad, yeah. and the one that they're seeing is the yep. girl. Yeah, yep. Even though the dad's in the fucking image, like passed out on the couch for a lot of like the the ghost. Yeah, parts. but he's he's there for you to miss. But you don't realize you know? that he's a ghost. Like you think it's all part of the girl's fucking like exactly magic. ghost. Exactly. Magic. <laughs> anyway. Um, uh, this is the last vlog for the week. Um, I hope you all had a happy holidays and, uh, peace out.